you can allocate those money and buy some investment property. What is an investment property? Investment property is a property that you buy where it does not serve you as your residence, but it serves you as, as a rental, it serves you uh, uh, renting it to other people, putting on Airbnb, putting it on Booky.com, or something like that, temporarily living or something like that. It's an investment property. Investment property is that a property that brings you money, a property that brings you revenue, a property that brings you passive income. The strength that you have at the age of 40, 25, you, you may not have the same at the age of 40, you know, so. So the revenue that comes from your investment property, Welcome back to Africa Zone one more time. Wonderful people of the diaspora and in the diaspora. This is Africa Zone, Africa for the win. If you are seeing my face for the first time, my name is Rafael from the US diaspora right now in Ghana and uh, taking care of uh, macro managing and managing supervising. Um, the start of uh, construction of my investment property here that I bought recently. If you don't know, if you go back to five video or six video from now, you could see that uh, I posted it and then uh, I dropped many knowledges concerning that how to buy a property in Ghana, you know, how to invest in Ghana and how, you know, to look forward when it comes to, you know, real estate in Ghana and uh, uh, Africa in whole as a, as, a, as, a, as a future investment in terms of uh, uh, investment property, investment property in real estate. And this is how you build wealth. You know, you build generational wealth and I believe that it is possible. It is not only for some, it's for everybody. And uh, one of the principles uh, there too is that uh, do not despise a little beginning, do not despise a little beginning. Nothing starts from the top. Nothing starts big. You know, if you start something big, I bet you, I give you one year, I give you two years. If it collapses, you know, all your capital is gone. You start small, you start small, you know. And then, um, you know, one of the wisdom that I wanted to drop for you, you know, is very simple, it's very simple. If you are, you are young, if you are young uh, between, uh, you know, 20, you know, it's possible at the age of 20, 21, you can buy the property. You are between 20, 21 to uh, 40, 45. And then uh, you are the one, you know, you want to start from building wealth. Unless you are already wealthy in your family, but if you want to start building wealth, if you want to start building wealth as a young man, and uh, there has not been kind of a history of wealth in your family, if you have the possibility, if you have the opportunity, what you could do is uh, buy an investment property before you build your dream house. Buy your investment property before you build a dream house. You know, everybody has a dream house. You know, don't tell me that you don't have a, uh, a dream house in your mind. Everybody, you know, dreams. You know, everyone dreams. And uh, like me, like you, we all dream and are living in a beautiful house. You know, very nice house. You know, some of you are dreaming of uh, living in a half million dollars house, one million dollars house, two hundred and fifty thousand, you know, dollars house. It's okay. It's okay, that just is natural. That's not something supernatural. It's a natural for us to dream, you know, to have vision, to live in a very nice house, uh, you know, um, you know, story building, a uh, big palace, you know, built on, uh, you know, two plots, even more than that. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. 
as a human being, you must dream. You must dream, you must have dreams in your life. It's what drives you, you know, uh, from one point to the, to the other point. But the dream house, everybody knows that uh, when you want to build it, you will build it very nice, in quality. You know, in, uh, where you inculcate a lot of things that you want, swimming pool, pergola, uh, you know, inside or, uh, you know, you know, uh, theater, uh, what we call a cinema also. And uh, there's uh, right now smart houses people are building. Everybody aspire and is inspired to do that. But a dream house is always costful. A dream house tend to be very expensive. So let's say that uh, you are saving money to all the dream house. To save money up to half million dollars, to save money up to million dollars, how many years is going to take you? You know, so let's say that uh, to save money 15 years, uh, half million dollar or one million dollar, instead of waiting and then with that amount of money and you know, across the years or along the years for 10 and 15 years, when you, you are able to save 100,000, 150,000, 200,000, which is possible because you are determined. If you are determined, you can do that. What you could do is that you can take those, those money, you can allocate those money and buy an, some investment property. What is an investment property? Investment property is a property that you buy where it does not serve you as your residence, but it serves you as, as a rental, it serves you uh, uh, renting it to other people, putting on Airbnb, they put it in a bookie.com or something like that, temporarily living or something like that. This is an investment property. Investment property is that the property that brings you money, a property that brings you revenue, a property that brings you passive income, you know, something like that. So, when you do something like that, instead of waiting for 15 years, saving money for your dream house, you know, if you can save money for four and five years by investment property that you that begin to generate money for you uh, and along that the money that is coming from this property also you can take it again and then invest in you know, the second you know when you start with the first one you can do the second one you can do the third one you know and you can do also the fourth one and the fifth one and now you have a revenue passive revenue or passive income across many properties uh, uh many other ventures it might not be you can decide also to put it in somewhere else transportation and then you must know the field very well that will bring revenue for you so because your active money sometimes by, by the end of uh, by adding 15 years to your age and saving those amount of money can put a toll on your body and remember when you started saving out of school from at age 25, after 50 years, you're already 40 years old. The strength that you have at the age of 40, 25, you, you may not have the same at the age of 40, you know, so. So the revenue that comes from your investment property, those one, you can also allocate it in, in three ways or many ways. And then, uh, the 25 or 30 percent of that can go and start building your, your dream house. That's how you do it. So you will not feel it. You already own property. You already have revenue coming in. You know, so the 30 percent can start building it, and then within one year, instead of waiting for 15 years, saving money to build your dream house, within one year or two years. You should be able to build. You should be able to finish building your your, your dream house. It's uh, the tactic is very simple. Uh, people sometimes you know try to make it complicated, but I just break it down for you. Very simple. Very simple. Very simple. And uh, this is one of our, <laughs> actually this one is in one of our investment property. And uh, even though I'm sharing this, it's my first time sharing this. Uh, since I've been on, on, on YouTube because I cannot expose as there will be time I will expose you know other things to you 
you know, this one, the amount of money that it cost me, you know, it's not exorbitant. You know, it's not really exorbitant, even despite that, you know, I bought it for less than $40,000. This is not small money for some, I know that. But uh, by God's grace, you know, it gave me the grace, it gave me the, the, the blessing, it gave me the strength, you know, as a registered nurse to put some money at, at the side and then bought it. This is something that you can do. Uh, this is something that you can do. I have also invested in other areas in Africa, in transportation and in telecommunication, uh, that bring me cash flow. And then uh, that will also help those, you know, who really wonder, you know, uh, what are some of the things that, uh, that you can do in Africa, you know. You want to come and supervise and then uh, manage your uh, be on the site and to know really, you know, how you want to invest those property being around and know what people are doing you know and spend six to eight weeks over here you must have cash flow income as i have if not that's why people cannot stay here for long two weeks they are back to the united states because uh, in order to stay here for six weeks or two months it means that you have to prepare your rent at least you know where you reside if you reside in the uk if you reside in uh, um, in Europe or France or whatever in the United States or Canada, at least you have to be able to manage and then put aside, you know, your rental money or your mortgage, you know, back in the abroad for three months. Save those things or prepare those to pay those before you leave, you know, because as for me, my family and I, we left in June, so. You gotta pay the the, the, the rent or, or the mortgage for the June for the month of June, and then all July we are here. You got to be able to pay that. <laughs> and I guess as you are going back, you don't have any income coming in. You know, you don't have any income coming in. So you go for August, the beginning of the month. You know, you have to also be ready. You know reserve some money to pay that you know for the month of August uh, apart from the mortgage apart from the rent you have other things also if you own a car car insurance if you you know uh, if you don't nobody has been in the house for the past you know or seven and eight weeks you know that the maintenance electric, electricity bill maintenance will come gas bill, uh, gas maintenance bill will come all this thing will come all this thing will come so you gotta be ready also to keep those, those things afloat that's why you need cash flow business here in africa you need passive income to be able to do you know and sustain yourself and then uh, how do you start our principle and my principle that i've been applying and it's it been successful is that start small start small start investing in africa as much as as low as thousand dollars thousand dollars yeah with thousand dollars you can start investing in africa you can start a company in africa you can start a source of income in africa i've been doing it for several years and it's working so if you like the topic that i've talked about kindly subscribe to this my, my channel and then uh, cause me to grow it's more blessed to give than to receive you have been hearing, hearing, and taking, and taking, and gaining, and gaining knowledge, wisdom, understanding, everything, strategies, you know. So consider to subscribe to my channel, and it cost me to grow. Take me to 10,000 subscribers. You know, we can do it. We can do it. Why not? Like, share, and also comment, comment, whatever you have learned in this video. If there's anything you want to add to it, why not? I'm still in Ghana. I'm still in Africa, enjoying life, doing creative things, dipping myself, delving myself into my creative world because your job is not what you are created to do. You are created to do a work upon the face of this earth. And that's how, and this is what you use your gifts, you are being gifted for. Thank you very much. Africa Zone for Africa to win. Your brother Rafael, I'll catch you up in my next video. Ciao.